In this video, Dan is going to share with you about shutting off the water at a fixture and the whole house. This is an important thing to know in case of an emergency to avoid damage caused by water. It is also something you need to know if you want to change out your toilet flapper as shown in video number five. Please note the disclaimer in the video notes below. Hello and welcome back to our DIY video series. My name is Dan with At Your Service Plumbing and I get to share with you how to shut down water. We're gonna start off first with fixtures, uh, sink faucets, toilets, a lot of those things. If you have a leak, you're most likely gonna see something like this underneath the sink, around the toilet. These are for the emergency for basically just turning off the water to that fixture. However, let's just say it's worse than that and that does not affect your leak. We might have to escalate that up to turning off the water to your house. What that means is you're gonna see one of two usually type of shutoff valves. This is what's called a ball valve and they could be located anywhere. It could be in a closet, it could be underneath a sink, could be out in your garage, might even be in your crawl space. Nobody wants to go down there, I understand, but it'll look similar to something like this, the quarter turn or the more common one is what's called the gate valve. This is the one that looks like a wagon wheel. It's carpal tunnel inducing because you're constantly having to spin it forever. That's how it works. And with that worst case scenario, let's say none of that happens or you don't have a main shutoff valve. You're either talking about making it out to your meter and turning off the water there, or you're contacting the fire department. They're gonna come out, deal with the emergency, get the water shut down. Then by all means, give us a call here at At Your Service Plumbing and we're gonna be happy to come out there and help you out. I trust the information in this video was helpful for you. If you find at any time you either don't have the right tools, you don't want to make trips back and forth to the hardware store, or you just don't want to spend your valuable time doing this task, please give At Your Service Plumbing a call and ask to schedule your own personal plumbing professional to come and assist you. Our client care representatives would be happy to provide you a two hour arrival window, which works for you. If you have other plumbing issues, we offer several videos in this do it yourself series. Please comment suggestions for future videos and we thank you for joining us.